That's open. I'm gonna go for Stadium Bravo here. Teammates are going for Cafe and Bank for some reason. Oh my god. Okay. That was a close call. I don't know why both teams banned Bank. Bank is infinitely better than Stadium Bravo, but okay. We didn't get it. Stadium Bravo is actually getting removed next season from the ranked pool, so... Who knows if I'll even play it again this season. I might have played that map for the last time, which is great because I'm not a big fan. That's probably my second least favorite right now to Emerald Plains. It's right around that tier though. That's probably the second worst one right now to me. It's right in the tier with like Emerald Plains. I don't know if I'd prefer that one or a stadium. Who knows? They both suck though to me. Interesting bands coming out here. The Montaigne on Coastline, that's uh, that's something. I do like the Fenrir actually though. Fenrir is a good man on every map, let's be honest. Fenrir is a really annoying op to play against, but he is very good. I actually do have some solid strats on this map with him, but I don't have him on this account, I don't believe. Also the Mirror ban, I just want to get rid of her. She makes attacking way easier if she's banned. Instant lock on the Mozzie Warden. Let's go. Also, I want to point out, I went to my Villa match replay to check a thing out at the end. Because I wanted to see uh, what the thumbnail shot should be. Ended up being Wamai because I kind of went crazy with him that game. But if you missed that video, we were playing some Zims. Every time at the start of the round, they kept spinning in circles. I thought that was, a, that was patched at this point. Maybe it is and they're just trolling or something, but... I'm pretty sure it's like a Zim workaround if you start spinning in circles at the start. It's a way to get around the mousetrap. Who knows though, because I haven't really played the game too much the last couple of months. I've been doing pretty alright though, first couple of games back I'd say. These are champ lobbies as you can tell. At least that's the, the hidden matchmaking. I always like putting this prox mine here, and I'm gonna barricade these, so that way they'll have to shoot them from the roof, or they'll have to, like, come down and break them themselves. They can't just fast vault in here and rush. I'm gonna be playing near the bar and aquarium. It's usually good to make foeholds here, too, in case the attackers get control of aqua. Some may call it fish. It's that blue room. I like making head or high holes, not head holes, on this one. Just to throw C4s or smokes if your team has them, which they don't. But they do have some C4s. It denies default though. Nobody's making the rotate either, so that's good. Throw that there in case they run in here. Just pile up some of my eyes while I have them. Yeah, we nothing on blue stairs either. <laughs> Rick spawn picking. Get rid of all this so it doesn't get in the way when I peek the door. I don't have a Wamai for this yet. I'm gonna move. They're gonna try to grenade that for sure. Nobody's on the ballot, so it's good. There it is, of course. It destroys my Wamai magnet. Timing. I just waited one more second. Look, okay, I'll just wait for my next one and I'll play there again. They did break these barricades. Hands are a little cold right now, not gonna lie. Very cold in my room. I try to warm up, I only play like 20 minutes or something. If you were wondering what my warm up routine is, by the way, I just play a couple training grounds and I do a... Uh... There's somebody on the roof still. Jumped over the balk. Now I do some arcades. Goodbye, Finka. Jumped over. Ah, oh, I was hitting him too. He's gotta be low. Yeah, he's one. 
That's on me, though. I aimed too low. I uh, flicked down too low on him. Not warmed up yet. Thinking about turning my sense down a little bit, the vertical. I play on 50 vertical, or 55 vertical. I'm sure if I was playing like 45 right there, not to make excuses, I would have killed that guy. I feel like way too low. I do like my sense, I just gotta get really warmed up to be able to use it when the vert's that high. I feel like it. Oh. Teammate wins these. Oh. What's happening? I think he's close. Oh, he flicked back for no reason, but it doesn't matter. He still wins. I don't know how that Twitch just lost that. Nice shot. Okay, okay. I'm just mad I didn't kill that Yana too. That was a free kill. They went into my prox mine and everything, had the pre-fire. I wasn't expecting them to be crouch either, so that caught me a little bit off guard. That was strange. It's like it's like they were rushing but then they crouched. I thought it was gonna push up into there. Especially with the procs going off, but it's okay. Again, that's on me. I missed my shot. I'm gonna play Legion for the kitchen. Legion's like my go-to operator right now, I think. He's my main, if I had to have one. If I had to play one operator on defense for the rest of my life right now, it'd be Legion for sure. He can just do everything. Shotgun for sight setup. Good gun. Two speed, two armor. So many gadgets for information. And that's key and solo like you. And I got impacts too. He's really good on impact trick sites. Kind of like a uh, clubhouse basement. Stuff like that. Always make footholds on these two, by the way. Don't reinforce them all. And box yourselves in. Get super long angles in the courtyard that way. Shoot those two. All these. If you shoot all those drones, can't hide in them. Like little rats. Try to put your goo mines next to the doors too, kind of like cap and traps. I say that all the time, but that's how you gotta place your goos now since they're not invisible. I'm not gonna play on that punch hole, but just in case they come through this door now, they're gonna start pre-firing that so I know they're in that room. Come back to side just to put that. First pick, that's not good. Two back. I'm gonna play a passive angle right now. I think I hear one. Oh my god. If I had my gun out right there, I could have shot him. I was not expecting him to be crashed up in the door like that already. I wish I had a goo mine on that. 4v2 though. I'm gonna play passive right now. Don't want to give numbers away. In case he comes back. I'll play like this angle. Weird off angle to play. Oh. Excuse me, okay. My bad. My bad. How does he know I'm there? That's such a weird spot to play in, but okay. I just got good knighted. Okay, 3v2 though still, even if I died. That was a nice shot. I don't know why he was checking that, but he's better. Can't really do much about that. Oh, he's destroying us all. Warren's for sure on Zim, but that's okay. It's on my team at least. Who knows? Maybe the IQ is too. Whoa, that was weird. Oh no, we're actually going to throw this. This IQ is going to kill everybody. I 
I have a bad feeling about this. Our teammate's freaking out. I'd say winnable, but he has like, no health. Just chill, just chill. I, I don't know why he's peeking that. Damn. It was partially on me, but that was also a 3v2 and a 2v1 at the same time that our team blew. Okay, we're going to go back to kitchen. If we can get this one, we'll be good still. I'm thinking I'll just play the Legion again, maybe differently. Maybe I'll go like upstairs. I'm guessing they're going to do the same entry into sunrise so i'll go upstairs above the hatch and you can actually see their legs when they're walking to that door and they probably won't be expecting me there i guess we'll see i should have just went back to site there when we had the 4v2 that was on me i was thinking that passive angle is good but i mean i got shit on That guy just went completely nuclear to win that round for his team. It's always good to have full holes here too. Our team did last time, but I'll just make him this round. Why not? It's another default plant. It's always good to scare him off the common angles and plants. Same stuff here on this wall, then I'll go do my setup. Teammate already had that side, nice. Shoot these again. The drones can hide in there. Come on. Of course it bounces on the corner. That there. Right on out of here upstairs. Team got the opening pick this time, so better. Kind of sad we lost that last round. We had uh, 4v5 and we turned it into 4v2. We lost it to one player. And chill here for now in case they miss drone or something up here. I think they're pushing up. I'm gonna kind of chill in the hatch now. See if they push deep right here, I can see their legs. Or if one jumps in. Oh, they're in. They see me? Oh, they seen me. Let's go. I just went crazy because I know he doesn't have ammo. I'm gonna rotate back around. Never mind, our whole team's dead, so now I'm in a terrible spot. This one hears me. Just hoping they aren't planting. Never mind, they planted. So much barb, what is this? That was like pretty much impossible. I don't know why there's two pieces of barb like on the outside of the door like that. Is this guy using mouse? What are you guys' thoughts? Who really knows at this point in the game, but he's going crazy on us. I'll give him that. Mouse or not. Why the attack though? I think this is an attacker favorite map to be honest. 
I know it was when it was in competitive still, like in pro league and stuff. I don't know about the rank stats though. I feel more comfortable on attack though, I think. See how this goes. I'm pretty much going to try to work stuff on Aqua. I like going on a repel there. If you watched my videos before, you've probably seen what I'm talking about. But I'll show you if you haven't. I can get pretty good control from there. You just got to be careful coming out of the spawn. Because it is the ruined spawn. And we know how that can be. I'll show you a good drone you can do though to get out of there. And that's if they went upstairs. I think they did. Usually they do. This is a good uh, pre-place down here. Just like this. Now I can see if they're spawn peeking this door or if they're running out later on. I can check the drone. And if I need to come in later, I have a pre-place set. I got off my drone too, in case there's a Solus. I don't think there is. I don't know what this dude's doing with his drone. So now I just gotta worry about the top spawn peak. That's open. Good night. So I'm gonna throw this drone up there now. Okay, it looks clear. Now you can't teach that, that was a skill, but I was ready for it at least. I was waiting for his move. Check for that window too on sunrise, I like peeking that. Put your claymore as close to that door too. Like this. Now I have a double, so I'll have to take time to shoot both those before they run out on me. So I should be pretty safe with the door closed up. Don't open the door too. Up on the repel. Shoot that so I can hear him break it. Okay, we have numbers 4v3. Thorn's playing the bomb angle. Oh no, Mozzie's destroying us. That's the fuser. Thorn just rotates it. Pretty sure she's trapped in that corner right now. If Zoe can somehow get in. I'll hold her for now. We still have like a lot of time. Half the round. This should be a freebie if they're still there. I think they are. I might have to make my move here because we need to get this pick. Thought they were there. Okay, it's just the Mozzie. Pretty sure he's going to be playing the bomb, so... We're going to recover it. If I had the Fuser here, we win this round. I get a free plant behind the bomb right here. I'm trying to check all my angles here. No clue where he is. He has to be like on it. We gotta trade each other. Yeah, I can grab it. Let me check the hall. Hall looks good. I don't know where this guy is. Are you kidding me? I just looked at that. Oh no. I think we lost. No. All oh, because a teammate lost a diffuser over here. This Mozzie's got like a 4k or something. Well, that's crazy. We should never lose that round. Man. That was bad timing too on the hallway. I had just drone that side. I guess I should have jumped my drone farther. He's probably like behind the vase, the other side of it. That last round was a bit unfortunate, but what are you going to do in solo queue at the end of the day? Like, your team just makes it so much harder on you sometimes.
can't expect to win these games much. That's the mindset you gotta have. I say it all the time, but it's just true. It's so hard to play against the other team and your team at the same time. Maybe I should have taken the diffuser, but not for this site and kitchen. Throw it up again just in case. Okay, we look good. But yeah, for Aqua, maybe I should take the diffuser since, since I'm literally right next to it anyways. Like, I just have to go behind the, the bomb chassis and I can plant. And that's like the default spot anyway. I'm not shooting this all the way so they can't run out on me. That's why you join your corners. Did not know that guy was there. I think he just ran away. Maybe I can get some free map control. Team gets first picked again with the fuser. Nice, nice. Traded. Don't know what that guy's doing. I'm just making sure he doesn't flank or something. Okay, he's in sight. Nice, let's go team. Big Ram plays coming out here. That's for sure one of Ram's best sites. I've even made a TikTok on that one. Okay, so we know they're going to be back kitchen. Do I just do the same thing? That seemed to work pretty well. I scared the Mozzie away at least, and then I was able to get the Ella, whoever that was, on the door. Okay, we're getting back in this game. Just one more attack and we'll be an OT. We will get attack first, probably. And it's been very attacker favored. I think there's been three attack wins, two defense. To be fair, though, they haven't played out their full three rounds yet. You can see I'm doing the same pre-place. Oh wait, they're actually that side. Okay. Let me swap it up. This is a curveball. Maybe a big play by them, because I'm sure none of the other teammates on my team were ready for it either. I know I wasn't. I feel like kitchen is easier to attack and rank though. This one's maybe a little tougher, we'll see. I'm gonna claim more of the door here and then the double door. Lamborghini doorway. Who knows the meme? Anybody else see those legs? Am I seeing things? Okay, I'll put this claymore first. I'm gonna drone this just to make sure nobody's close. I do want to claim more it. Okay, I think he went back upstairs. Oh my. Okay, throw that there. Nobody expects this claymore. I'm gonna hop on the repels. First picked again. Open this hatch up, nobody else has. Double first pick, nice. <laughs> There's the claymore. If the Yang was over here by us, she could probably play in the corner while I covered. Looks like she's on the breach though for some reason. I don't know why she would be there with the diffuser, can't play in that room. Wanna execute on the window, usually. And they died. Let's 
Trying to be aggressive here, 2v3. Team just all dies every round, but solo queue. Gonna have to make a play. Ah, oh, he's on the other side. Man, I could've got him too, he's already won. Well played by them. This was a tough and sweaty game too. Let's glass and clutch. I just don't know what we're doing. The Yin could have just jumped in the window probably while I covered and planted in that tight corner. No way they would have C4 under or something. So Legion was off site. Capcan was in the back of this site. And I think the other one was also with the uh, the Legion maybe. I end up dying anyways, but still. Good game, though. Can't win them all, like I said before. That's just how it goes. When you're solo queuing, you can't do too much about the game. The final result is most likely going to be out of your hands. You just want to try to improve as a player. Try to be able to 1v5 every single round by yourself. If you can't do that, there's always room to improve. That's the famous quote by Kickstar. As you can see, though, we're playing in champ lobbies. I'm losing eight RP a game, so I really don't care. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'd get like 122 or something like that. Anyways, though, that'll do it for this video. Tell me if you guys enjoyed it down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.